Hey guys, what Bambi TV? Guys, so what are we reacting with? Jessica. Guys, the one checking out Shocking Truths, Prophet Muhammad, TV author of him is mentioned in the Bible, mind blowing. And guys, this video, I'm going to allow everybody to be honest. Please be honest. Any Muslim or Christian who is watching this fight now, be honest and comment in the comment section what you think about the video. I feel I watched it before she haven't, but like, my answer, I don't want to just say it yet, but like, comment what you think is the truth in the comment section. Guys, let's get straight into this. I have read the Bible through many, many, many times. And others such as I have read it many more times, much more educated than I could ever be, understanding both Hebrew and Greek. Uh, Mohammed is not mentioned in the Old Testament. With this countless number of reading, the man doesn't see it. How can that be? I said, you see, what has happened is this. First, that Muhammad is mentioned by name in the original scriptures. The Old Testament, according to Christian authorities, was preserved in the Hebrew language. And the New Testament in Greek scriptures, Greek language. In the Old Testament, in the Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16, in the Hebrew language, it reads, Hikko mamittakim vi kullo muhammadim zehdudi vi zehrei bainat Jerusalem. Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. The word muhammadim is muhammad im im i am im. Im is a plural of respect in Hebrew. You see the first verse of the Bible, book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The word God in Hebrew there is Elohim. In Hebrew, Ella stands for God. Elohim is a plural form to say with all respect and reverence. Plural of respect. In all Eastern languages, including Arabic and Hebrew. There are two types of plurals. Plural of respect as well as numbers. In the Quran also we find the very same thing. Like the verse Allah says, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. That it is for us to send down the revelation and it is for us to protect it. Who is this us? Ask any Muslim. Who is this us? Is Allah Jibreel and Muhammad, like Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? No. But is as who is as? When we are told in the Holy Quran, "Qul huwa Allahu ahad," say He is Allah, the One and Only. Here is talking about as. No Arab Christian has ever asked the Muslim. I said the Arab Christian has ever asked the Muslim, "Who is this as?" Because he knows in his language, there are two types of plurals. Plural of numbers and plural of respect. This as is like in royal proclamations, you have plural of respect. We have decreed, says the queen. We. Who is this we? Not she and her husband and her, her son. No, no, no. It's standing for herself. Out of respect. Plural. So Elohim is a plural of respect. Im. El is God. Ella is God. Elohim is more than one of respect. Ask any Jew. This is his book. Ask him what is his Im. He said, look, in my language, this is a plural of respect. God is one, but out of respect we speak like that. Im. He says, Muhammad Im. Muhammad Im. Plural of respect.
Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. Yes, the name Muhammad does show up. It does say Muhammadim, but the name Muhammad is very plainly in the text. The word is there in the Hebrew language. In the original, what they call original, it's there. But they have translated that in English as altogether lovely. So this beloved of mine is altogether lovely. When you read altogether lovely, you can't associate with the word Muhammad. You read it a thousand times, altogether lovely, altogether lovely. Or let's say in another language, the praised one, the praised one. Muhammad means the praised one. But he said the praised one, the praised one. You can't think that he's talking about Muhammad. Though Muhammad means the praised one. You have no right to translate names of people. Anybody. Your name should be retained. Mr. Black is Mr. Black. Though he's white. You have no right to translate names of people. But they have been doing that. Muhammad Im, they translated as altogether lovely. But the word Muhammad is there in the Hebrew language in the origin. So we said, look, you have lost the name Jesus Christ, according to the Holy Quran, says, Wa is qala Isa ibn Maryam. Says, Behold, Jesus, the son of Mary, said, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, in me Rasulullah ilaykum. So most certainly I am the messenger of God sent to you all. Musaddiqan lima bayna yadayya min at-tawrati. Confirming the revelation which came before me. Wa mubashiran bi rasuli ya'ti min ba'dismuhu Ahmad. And giving you glad tidings of a messenger to come after me whose name shall be Ahmad, which is another name for Muhammad. Muhammad and Ahmad are synonymous terms for this mighty messenger of God. Ahmad, that is what the Quran tells us. But the Christian says, look, it's not, it's not in my book. It's not here. There's no Ahmad and there's no Muhammad. So you are left with no alternative but to analyze what is there. You see, they have a verses in the Bible, in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 16, where it says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, Jesus says. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I go, I will send him. And when he is come, he will convict the world in respect of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they believe not in me and on and on. He says, if I don't go, the comforter will not come unto you. We say that comforter is Muhammad. The same chapter, he says, I have yet many things to say unto you. But you cannot bear them. Nah, you haven't got that capacity. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. Spirit of truth. Who is the spirit of truth? Ask the Christian. Is the Holy Ghost. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself, but what things so shall he hear, that shall he speak. And he shall declare unto you the things that are to come. He shall glorify me. So who is the spirit of truth? They say the Holy Ghost. I said, all right. If this is the Holy Ghost, tell us now, what new things has he given you in the past 2,000 years? He said, Jesus said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. But before we expound this aspect, let me reread to you this verse with a little emphasis on the pronouns. He says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them. Now, nah. how be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself, 
but what things so shall he hear that shall he speak and he shall declare unto you the things that are to come he shall glorify me eight masculine pronouns i say it ill befits a ghost you agree that is a man a man a man a man eight times there is not another verse in the whole bible with eight masculine pronouns or eight feminine gender or eight neuter genders there isn't this is a unique verse for a unique personality muhammad man 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 not a ghost not a spook but we are told is a spirit is muhammad a spirit i say yes that's what your bible says you see every time the word spirit is used in your bible i'm telling the christian it doesn't stand for the holy ghost because in the book of revelation the last book of the bible it, we are told that seven spirits of god went out into the world i say you believe in seven holy ghosts he says no there's only one holy ghost i said look it's seven spirits I means should be seven holy ghosts no spirit doesn't stand for holy ghost every time then in the same john the same john in the first epistle of john he says beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirits whether they are of god for many false prophets have gone out into the world false prophet is a false spirit true prophet is a true spirit the same john is using spirit for a prophet don't believe every spirit means don't believe in every prophet same john in the gospel of saint john he says he says he that is born of spirit is spirit and he that is born of the flesh is flesh so do spirits beget do they prohibit he says no then how can you be born of spirit no you know, what it means it is that who is spiritually inclined is spiritual who is materialistically inclined is flesh what brought you here tonight some kind of gift that you were expecting from dad you know he's going to give you some sweet meat what some chocolates is that what brought you here if that was the case and suppose i give it out to you you are materialistically inclined material things brought you here so you are a materialist in the language of the bible you are fleshy you are of the flesh materialist if it was spiritual consideration motivation that brought you here then you are spiritual the gospel language say he that is born means the thing that motivates you that brings you up into being if it is spirit spiritually then you are a spirit and if you are fleshly you are flesh material you are flesh what do you think about this hmm. it's a lot to digest too mm. <laughs> Well, I don't know about the uh, Muhammad. I mean, if I don't know personally speaking, I feel if okay, they've checked the translators and it actually says Muhammad. I would be confused because I would I would agree with him that it's not really right to translate someone's name. So if that is actually Muhammad in the other version, then why is it translated as? Is he um what they say or do all together lovely? So guys, I'll come in, in here and I will say that the name Muhammad was written. I feel if you check uh, the uh, my version of Hebrew, I don't know, but I believe it was Ahmed. Yes, I I have researched about it. I believe it was Ahmed, and I feel if you translate it, it will still give you Muhammad or something like that. But like. It wasn't talking about Muhammad. It was I talking about so. a girl fantasizing. She was lost in after a man. So it wasn't actually talking about Prophet Muhammad. Okay, so I don't really feel I I can accept the fact that Muhammad name was written in the Bible, but it, this was before the name even coexisted. Because I'm like if like if it was I... before the name even like before Muhammad was a name. He gets so it wasn't actually talking about him, and the verse wasn't talking about him. That's why it was actually translated, translated all together. Okay. Because if you read it based on what she was talking about, so it was Lady actually prophesying, like seeing different things about the man she wants, and it was just it was more about lust, and she was lusting after a man and seeing attributes she wants in the man and. 
it was just like that. It was not like she, were, she was talking about or uh, they were prophesying about the prophet or anything. That's why they translated the name from Muhammad to altogether love me. Or the praise one. And him talking about the spirit of truth. Yes, that got to me. I feel that got to me and yeah, I can accept the fact that all spirits does not mean is the Holy Spirit. But I will still believe that I, I won't say anything about that part because I clearly haven't like researched about it. So I won't give an answer about that part though. And then him um specifically um underlining the pronouns there, I would say personally speaking, I would say because he was like, if it's a spirit, it's meant to be it and not he. But I would say, let's say like, based on the Holy Spirit is part of the Trinity, we mix up God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Probably that is why they use the he for the pronoun. Because using it for something that is, like, should I say, joined with God, it's no, because if you're talking about Jesus or you're talking about God, it begins with a capital letter. And he, and yeah, he, he, and he. he. So I would say, based on the race, which is part of the Trinity, that is why it is given that respect and given he, not it. Hmm. Guys, you guys come after, have a. Do I should like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys.